What were the plans for Justice League 2 and 3? This is a question many of us have. Well, there are various versions of the story circulating. According to a Reddit post, in the first version, JL2 would primarily focus on character development. Each member of the Justice League would pursue their own paths until Lex creates an evil Justice League. A major conflict arises as they battle Lex's team, with Batman eventually discovering that the Riddler has solved the anti-life equation. Superman faces Darkseid, while the rest of the League confronts Luthor's team. Lois is left in Batman's care, but Darkseid is alerted by Lex, leading to Lois's death and the start of the Nightmare and Cosmic Treadmill storyline. In the second version, JL2 involves the Justice League preemptively traveling to Apocalypse to thwart Darkseid's invasion. Batman proposes this plan, but Superman hesitates due to Lois being pregnant. Despite their efforts, they are overwhelmed and Superman is captured. Back on Earth, the team blames Batman for the failure and questions his leadership. Meanwhile, Darkseid discovers the anti-life equation within Superman's Codex on Apocalypse and decides to invade Earth. Superman escapes, and Darkseid, after killing Lois as in version 1, initiates the Nightmare and Cosmic Treadmill storyline. Another user, Drubles82, shared some information. According to what I gathered, in this version of Justice League 2, each character has a different storyline. Wonder Woman is on a mission to return home, guided by another Amazonian who instructs her to use the truth rope on herself for guidance. Meanwhile, Lex, after escaping from prison, is recruiting individuals for a mission. He manages to recruit Dr. Woman from Wonder Woman, who is still alive. They release villains from Aquaman, hire Captain Cold, and enlist the Riddler to solve the anti-life equation. Batman is searching for Lex, with Lois helping him. This leads Batman to a jungle, where he discovers the Riddler in a cabin. The Riddler, having solved the anti-life equation, shoots himself in front of Batman, understanding the implications for the world. Lex's plan involves orchestrating simultaneous attacks on everyone. Lois is in the Batcave with Bruce, thinking it's a safe place. However, Darkseid teleports into the Batcave, killing Lois. Superman arrives too late and falls victim to Darkseid. Simultaneously, a gas is released on the island, resulting in the deaths of many Amazonians, including Diana. Aquaman is killed, Cyborg is torn in half, and the Flash is injured but manages to escape. Justice League 3 essentially delves into the nightmare world where the majority of the Earth has been ravaged, and both heroes and villains are compelled to collaborate. At the outset, a Green Lantern makes an appearance only to meet a swift demise. The central theme of this segment revolves around the collective efforts of these individuals. Cyborg realizes the necessity of a mother box to power the Flash's time travel treadmill. Instead of allowing time travel at any moment, they carefully calculate Earth's position in the past to avoid ending up in space. The narrative shifts to a heist as they collaborate to obtain the mother box. Cyborg designates two potential time travel destinations for Barry, prompting Bruce to advise him to choose the alternative, since the initially chosen one proved ineffective. Bruce whispers something to Barry, and they embark on the mission. Despite nearly everyone facing mortal danger, Barry manages to return with the mother box just in the nick of time. Upon arrival in the Batcave, Lois is present, and Barry issues a warning to Bruce. Darkseid makes an entrance, attempting to use his beam to kill Lois. However, this time, Bruce sacrifices himself by jumping in the way. Although barely alive, Bruce's intervention saves Lois, and Superman arrives in time to confront Darkseid. With ample time to warn and assist others from impending danger, the final scene unfolds with the entire world uniting against Darkseid, akin to the events in Justice League 1, but now in the modern day and ultimately defeating him. In Zack's initial concept, he envisioned a romantic connection between Bruce and Lois, stemming from their shared grief over Superman. Lois becomes pregnant, as evidenced by a pregnancy test in Justice League. Superman acknowledges that the child is not biologically his, but chooses to raise the child as his own. When the child reaches an appropriate age, he is revealed the Batcave, eventually becoming the new Batman as Bruce succumbs to his injuries. If this storyline had been retained, it would have been Superman's child rather than Batman's, had the planned Justice League sequels been realized. 
In early December 2022, The Hollywood Reporter revealed Warner Brothers' plans for Justice League 2 before the appointment of James Gunn and Peter Safran as co-CEOs of the rebranded DC Studios. Director Andy Muschietti, known for The Flash, expressed interest in helming the film, with the studio aiming for a tone reminiscent of the 1978 Superman movie directed by Richard Donner. Warner Brothers co-chairpersons and CEOs Michael DeLuca and Pamela Abdi were reportedly keen on bringing back the actors from Zack Snyder's films in the previous DC Extended Universe. In August 2021, DC producer Charles Roven mentioned the possibility of another Justice League movie, stating he would probably be open to it. However, he acknowledged that the studio was a number of years away from pursuing a second Justice League installment due to the underwhelming performance of the initial film. Insider K.C. Walsh revealed in March 2022 that The Flash initially laid the groundwork for a Crisis on Infinite Earths-inspired event, hinting at the potential for a Justice League team-up movie. In January 2023, James Gunn and Peter Safran are set to unveil the initial films from their new lineup of projects, signaling a fresh start for the DC Universe in the post-DCEU era, anticipated to conclude later in the year with Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. This revamped phase is likely to introduce a new Holy Trinity featuring Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman as the central pillars of the franchise, serving as key members of the Justice League. Gunn confirmed in December 2022 that Henry Cavill would not reprise his role as Superman in the upcoming movie, which he is currently writing. This reboot will delve into Clark Kent's earlier years, offering fans a more profound exploration of the hero's growth and evolution than seen in previous solo films. Turning to Batman, Gunn emphasized the significance of the Dark Knight in the upcoming slate, describing him as a big part of the DCU in a tweet. While there is hope for integration with Matt Reeves' The Batman Universe, Gunn's approach is expected to provide Batman with a fresh perspective, akin to the treatment of Superman, allowing for a deeper understanding of the caped crusader beyond what has been explored since Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy. James Gunn, known for giving lesser-known heroes the spotlight, may introduce a different team than the classic trio of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Whether it's The Flash, Green Lantern, or other potential heroes, Gunn's approach suggests a mix of familiar and lesser-known characters. Regardless of the specific timeline, James Gunn and his team are committed to ensuring the Justice League's success on the big screen. They will invest significant efforts in crafting a compelling narrative and ensuring the team has the best chance for success before a new team-up movie is filmed. That's it for now. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel to get updated. Let us know your thoughts on it. See ya!